Mars was a very different planet. It had an extensive atmosphere. And in fact, it had what we believe was a huge ocean. Ancient Mars could have and would have supported life if life existed. The next day, we found a few more of them, and we really got excited. They thought they'd found a tiny fossilized Martian. We ask because scientists have discovered water on Mars. It is an underground reservoir, enough to fill an ocean that covers the entire planet. That is a lot of water, and this is good news. It looked like Earth uh, three billion years ago, and now it doesn't. It's dry and it's desolate, and so a big question is, where is the water? Where did it go? Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. Today we're going to announce that under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. The age-old question, is there life beyond Earth, may have taken a giant leap forward with NASA's announcement of an extraordinary discovery, liquid water oceans beneath the surface of Mars. While evidence of water, in the form of ice or fleeting surface flows, has been observed in the past, this marks the first time scientists have confirmed the presence of vast, stable liquid water reservoirs on the red planet. This breakthrough could reshape our understanding of Mars and its potential habitability, opening new doors to exploration and fueling our quest to find extraterrestrial life. NASA's latest findings result from decades of meticulous research and technological advancements. The search for water on Mars has been one of the primary goals of Martian exploration. Early missions, such as the Mariner and Viking programs, hinted at a planet that once had a wetter and more hospitable climate. Later orbiters, like Mars Odyssey and Mars Express, detected evidence of subsurface ice and hydrated minerals. The Curiosity and Perseverance rovers have since uncovered traces of ancient riverbeds and deltas, reinforcing the theory that Mars once had vast bodies of water. However, it wasn't until the deployment of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, and its radar instrument, Shurit Shallow Radar, that scientists began to suspect the existence of subsurface liquid water. These suspicions gained traction in 2018, when radar data suggested the presence of a liquid water lake beneath the southern polar ice cap. Still, the evidence was inconclusive, sparking debates within the scientific community. Fast forward to 2025. NASA's revolutionary discovery is credited to a new generation of instruments aboard the Mars Ice Mapper MIM. Launched in 2028 as part of a collaborative effort involving NASA, ESA, and several other space agencies. Equipped with high-resolution radar systems capable of penetrating deeper into the Martian crust, MIM has provided unambiguous evidence of massive subsurface oceans spanning hundreds of kilometers beneath Mars' northern lowlands and southern polar regions. NASA's analysis of the data reveals that these underground oceans are not mere pockets of water, but extensive reservoirs, potentially comparable in volume to Earth's Arctic Ocean. The water is situated several kilometers below the surface, insulated by layers of rock and ice that prevent it from freezing, despite Mars' frigid surface temperatures which can plummet to minus 125 degrees Celsius to minus 193 degrees Celsius at the poles. How is the water staying liquid? The presence of liquid water in such extreme conditions may be attributed to a combination of factors, including salinity, geothermal heat, and pressure. Similar to Earth's deep sea brine pools, the water on Mars is likely rich in salts, particularly perchlorates. These salts significantly lower the freezing point of water, allowing it to remain liquid even at sub-zero temperatures. Mars' interior still retains residual heat from its formation and radioactive decay, providing enough warmth to sustain liquid water beneath the surface. The weight of the overlying rock and ice exerts sufficient pressure to keep the water in a liquid state. This unique environment presents a tantalizing analog to subsurface oceans on icy moons like Europa and Enceladus, which are considered prime candidates for hosting extraterrestrial life. The discovery of liquid water oceans on Mars has profound implications for astrobiology. On Earth, liquid water is a fundamental prerequisite for life as we know it. Even in the most extreme environments, such as hydrothermal vents, 
subglacial lakes, and highly saline brine pools, life finds a way to thrive. Could the same hold true for Mars? The underground oceans could provide a stable, protected environment for microorganisms to survive. The high salinity and potential presence of energy sources, such as geothermal heat or chemical gradients, mirror conditions where extremophiles flourish on Earth. If life ever rose on Mars, these oceans might serve as its last refuge. Even if life no longer exists, the oceans could contain biosignatures, chemical or physical evidence of past life. Detecting these would provide irrefutable proof that Mars was once a living world. The discovery underscores the universality of water as a cornerstone of habitability. It reinforces the idea that other celestial bodies with subsurface oceans, such as Europa, Enceladus, and Titan, may also harbor life. NASA's announcement is a game changer for the future of Mars exploration. Here are some of the key directions this discovery could lead us. The next logical step is to directly access the underground oceans. This will require advanced drilling technology capable of penetrating kilometers of rock and ice. NASA and its partners are already developing such systems, with concepts like the Mars Ice Mole and Cryobot being adapted for this purpose. Instruments designed to detect and analyze organic compounds, isotopic ratios, and microbial life will play a central role in upcoming missions. These tools will help scientists determine whether Mars's oceans are merely reservoirs of water or cradles of life. The presence of liquid water makes Mars a more viable candidate for human colonization. Access to water is critical for life support systems, agriculture, and the production of oxygen and rocket fuel. Subsurface oceans could serve as a sustainable resource for future Martian settlements. The discovery raises important ethical and scientific considerations. Any missions targeting the subsurface oceans must adhere to strict planetary protection protocols to avoid contaminating potential Martian ecosystems with Earth-based microbes. While the discovery is groundbreaking, significant challenges remain. Accessing the subsurface oceans will require innovative engineering solutions. Developing and deploying such technology on Mars' harsh terrain is no small feat. Ensuring that Earth organisms do not contaminate Martian environments is a top priority. This requires sterilization techniques that balance planetary protection with scientific objectives. Differentiating between abiotic and biotic processes in the oceans will be a complex task. For example, certain chemical signatures could result from geological processes rather than biological activity. As space exploration becomes increasingly global, coordinating efforts among nations and private entities will be essential to maximize scientific returns while minimizing duplication of efforts. The discovery of oceans on Mars is not just a scientific milestone. It is a moment of profound philosophical and cultural significance. It challenges us to rethink our place in the universe and the uniqueness of Earth as a cradle of life. For centuries, Humans have gazed at the night sky and wondered whether we are alone. This discovery brings us one step closer to answering that question. Moreover, it reinforces the importance of preserving and understanding our own planet. As we uncover the secrets of Mars, we are reminded of Earth's fragility and the need to protect its ecosystems. Mars may offer insights into planetary evolution and climate change, shedding light on how to address similar challenges on Earth. NASA has already announced plans to accelerate its Mars exploration program. In light of this discovery, here are some upcoming milestones. The Mars Subsurface Explorer Mission 2028. This mission will deploy a robotic drilling system capable of reaching the oceans. It will be equipped with advanced analytical instruments to search for life and study the ocean's composition. Human Missions 2030's NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon, is viewed as a stepping stone to Mars. The discovery of water oceans strengthens the case for human exploration, as astronauts could play a critical role in conducting in-depth research. Collaboration with private industry. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others are expected to play a significant role in developing the technology needed to explore and utilize Mars's resources. 
NASA's discovery of liquid water oceans on Mars marks a historic moment in the annals of space exploration. It is a testament to human curiosity, ingenuity, and determination. As we stand on the brink of answering one of humanity's most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? This discovery fuels our imagination and drives us to push the boundaries of what is possible. Mars, once thought to be a barren wasteland, has revealed itself as a dynamic and complex world with the potential to harbor life. The journey to explore its oceans and uncover its secrets is just beginning. The next few decades promise to be an exciting era of discovery, collaboration, and innovation as humanity takes its first steps into the depths of the Martian subsurface. In the words of Carl Sagan, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. That something might just be beneath the icy crust of Mars, waiting for us to find it.